Bro. What is up you guys? This is Alan Hamilton and I kind of wanted to get real with you guys because I created this gaming channel like a week and a half ago and ever since I have been flooded with people asking for advice. It's been so flattering that you guys trust me enough to, you know, share this incredibly personal you know, your incredibly personal questions with me. So I thought I would take those incredibly personal questions and make an incredibly public video. So the first question is, I can't choose whether I want to go to art school or medical school. I like to help people and save lives, but I feel inspired to create. I suppose I should choose the one that will allow me to sustain myself financially. And I am going to just let you know that I disagree. I could not disagree more. Um, art is a thriving industry and you really can't go wrong with it. I mean, Picasso made so much money in his lifetime selling his paintings. So I would definitely recommend not just going to art school, but going to the best and most expensive one that you can find because it will definitely, definitely pay off in the end. And the next question is actually one that's very near and dear to my heart because this is something that I've, I've wondered myself personally and this is the conclusion that I came to. The 2016 elections will be here before you know it and I'm worried that my candidate won't win. Is it appropriate for me to post stuff all over Facebook about how my candidate is the only choice and all the other ones are psychopaths who will bring about the end of the world? P.S. If you don't vote for my candidate, I will unsubscribe because it means you hate America. Of course it is appropriate. In fact, it's expected. If you're not posting all over Facebook your political beliefs, then you're not doing Facebook correctly. And I totally understand why you'd be frustrated if people weren't voting for your candidate. You know, it's important to change their mind. It's important to show them the light. And the best way to do that is, of course, Facebook. But if you're talking to somebody in real life and you find that they are being stubborn and they just won't see that you're absolutely correct, I'd get violent. I really would because I find that, you know, aside from Facebook, I think violence is the best way to get somebody to vote for your candidate. This week I have my driving test and I'm super nervous. My mom says I'm a great driver, but I always choke when it comes to tests. It took me four times to pass the written portion. I just want to say that, first of all, mothers always kind of lie to make you feel better, so I wouldn't be too overly confident about your driving abilities. However, when it does come to your nerves, I find that before a test, it's always really helpful to take a few shots. So vodka, tequila, whiskey, rum, Whatever you prefer, take a few shots before your driving test and you will be feeling really relaxed. And if that doesn't work and say like the instructor is making you really nervous during the driving test, uh, just pull over to the side and masturbate. Masturbation is scientifically proven to actually make you relax and to help alle alleviate stress. So with masturbating, you really can't go wrong. It's very good for you too. Okay, and the next one is another one that's very near and dear to my heart. I like to play with my gun while I masturbate, and I can't fire my load if my gun isn't loaded. I recently discharged my gun into my foot and it's bleeding a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Should I go see a doctor? I am not a doctor, but I am 100% certain that you would be just fine. I mean, when you have an erection, all the blood is in your penis and not your foot. Inevitably, it is going to bleed out a little bit because <clears throat> that's just the nature of gunshot wounds. And trust me, I know a lot about gunshot wounds. But yeah, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. You know, just maybe put some hydrogen peroxide on it and, and you should be fine. I mean, if you want, you could slap a band-aid on it. But, you know, like I said, all the blood's going to be in your penis, especially if you're in the act of masturbating. So you'll be totally fine trust me I like I said I'm not a doctor but I am a hundred percent sure I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video for sending me your questions it's a beautiful thing that you guys trust me so much 
and I am here for you. So if you do need any advice, just go ahead and leave it in the comments section and I'll get to it if it's interesting and I feel like it's worth my time. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if they're going through any of these things and I will definitely see you guys in the next one. Thanks.